It's Bracky, 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 Bracky time. Hello everyone and welcome to Tuesday. It's Bracky time. Did you know that? Did I know it was Bracky time? Yeah. Oh, I knew. Did you know it was Bracky time? Yeah. We both knew it was Bracky time because we've both been working on it. Um, eggs, hash browns, bacon, a lot of bacon because we did a whole pack of it. We're just about to, uh, to eat. And uh, it's about 8.30, so we're going to be eating pretty quick. And then, Disc Only. The Disc Only podcast debuts tonight. Debuts in half an hour, actually. Um, I'm excited about it. I, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I think it's, it's both fun from the perspective of, I think it'll be a good show, and then also the fact that this is happening at all feels like the continuation of a, of a very long-running joke. Um, but I'm, I'm happy to... I'm happy to do it. Um, also, on the the note of these hash browns, we've been we've made these hash browns a few times now. The uh, what's shredded the ones? shredded? Yeah, the shredded hash browns, and we're getting better at it. Yeah, we're getting but better. I know they probably don't even look that great, but trust me, I have made them before and they have been worse. Um, I I'm still a really big fan of those. Uh, what are they patties. called? Patties. Yeah, the patties that we bought at Walmart that one they're time. Basically, giant tater tots. They're perfect, and they're so easy to cook. And these ones are harder. The thing that's so frustrating is that it gives you a temperature. That's the hardest thing. Is that it's like you know, do these uh, in the pan at 350 degrees, and I'm like, well, we don't have any sort of temperature measurements on the stovetop. It's one through nine. Which one is 350? I don't know. So I've tried different things, and I've tried different amounts of oil, and you know, I've certainly followed the directions as close as I could. They haven't come out just like I like them. They're still good, they're potatoes, they're kind of hard to mess up, but could they be better? I think so. Yeah, I think so. I certainly think so. These but are the best that we've gotten with them though. Yeah. You want the eggs on? Yeah, put the eggs right on. Okay. Yeah, that, that sounds good and fine to me. Eggs are creamy, we've got plenty of bacon, we'll be eating bacon for a while since we made a whole pack. Anyway, we're gonna eat this up and then the debut episode of Disc Only. Hey, everybody, and welcome to the very first official episode of the Disc Only podcast. Woo! Oh! That, that was where we were supposed to insert the excitement, right? Yes. <laughs> yeah! Apparently. You did it. You found all the excitement every uh, little bit. You finally finish it? You got a little more in there. You done? I guess he's actually done. That's fine. Well, I'm going to put this back over on your tray, and if you decide you want some more, which he does, my God, Kepler. So one of the things we've noticed about Kepler, and this has kind of been going on for, it's kind of been like his thing for a while, but we've noticed it more in the last little bit. Um... When he's eating his wet food, sometimes he'll only get like halfway through it and then he'll get like distracted and just stop. And we have to be like, um, food? And we will like pick it up and reintroduce it to him. And then he'll be like, oh, food. And then he'll keep eating them. Like, it's in the bowl. So. I don't know if he's li like just literally getting distracted and then he forgets that there's food or if maybe he's not as concerned. Like maybe he understands that since Sagan's like not actively around that the threat of the food being stolen is gone. I don't know. But with the wet food, he should eat it, you know, immediately because otherwise it's going to go bad and get hard. Anyway, if you couldn't tell, it's a little bit later and uh, we have done the first episode of Disc, uh, Disc Only. It was a lot of fun. Um, you know, the thing that I knew to be true remains true, and that is that, uh, uh, you know, Tom, John, Jared, and myself seem to have a, um, you know, a pretty good chemistry, and uh, I thought that it was, it was very easy to cover as much time as we did. In fact, the show, we, we were aiming for like an hour and then it felt like an hour just flew by, so we, we pushed it um, closer to about 80, 80 minutes. And uh, it just, it was easy. 
It was very easy and it felt like people really enjoyed it. There was no theme or, you know, a particular subject matter or anything. It just flowed naturally from one topic to the next. And, um, you know, most importantly, it was, it was fun to do. And I believe that the audience really enjoyed themselves. So yeah, we'll, um, we're going to continue doing that as a monthly thing. Uh, first Tuesday of every month. So the next one will be August 4th again at 9 PM Eastern. So looking forward to that, but, um, it'll be out on, uh, YouTube and like podcasty stuff soon, like by the end of the week. So once I have that information, I'll probably post about it on Twitter. Um, if anyone didn't get a chance to be there live, uh, you'll be able to listen to it on your software of choice, service of choice, service of choice. Anyway, now that that is all over with, um, there's a few, there's a, f there's a few bugs I'm missing in Animal Crossing. And fish. And fish. I'm only missing two bugs. Everything that's catchable. We haven't gone to like Southern Hemisphere or time travel. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. We're, we're, and we're not, we're not adjusting the time. I like to just kind of experience the game at the, I guess I'll, I'll say the intended pace. Um. I only did it for my video because I wanted it to be the day. And I oh, just yeah, went we did to, do that. I went to earlier that day when it was sunny. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, we um, we did. That's the first time I was adjusted the time in her mm -hmm. game. And I thought that was a nice change because we have done all of the videos yeah. at night. Mm -hmm. So it was kind of nice to do it uh, one in the morning because it, it felt, you know, so different. And it changes how you experience the surroundings and yeah. stuff too. How so. you experience the island. Yeah. Anyway, so uh, I'm, I'm going to probably play just a little bit before bed here because everything else is all set and I'll get back to it tomorrow. And, um, you know, today was good. Today was, today was a good day and I'm hopeful that uh, tomorrow will continue to be a good day. And it's been fun because we've been walking. I didn't talk about that on the vlog. No. But, um... One of the things on the Apple Watch is that it wants you to exercise for 30 minutes. Yeah. And for us, that's taking a walk. And we've been doing a pretty good job walking, but we haven't been walking every day. So I think that, weather permitting, this will be the start of us trying to actually maybe go for walks every day. Unless we're substituting it with a little more st strenuous activity like uh, ring fit or yeah. something. So, um I've, I'm I'm hopeful. I'm really hopeful that this will keep the motivation high for us to like continually exercise, even if it's just something like taking a half hour walk. So I'll I'll keep all of you, um, you know, in the know as we progress on this adventure of Mao having a. <laughs> in an case you were watch. interested. Yeah. And in getting one for yourself for similar reasons. Yeah, mm -hmm. and actually, um, I, I re looked up the prices on stuff again. Um. You know, we we got the the series five, which was a hundred dollars off, which was exciting. But currently, um, the series three, which has a lot of the same features anyway, is uh, I think it's one sixty nine on that Amazon, right. and that's 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 a really good deal, um, for especially if you're if you're interested primarily in the fitness tracking aspect. Um, I'm not sure exactly the specifics, so you may want to look up. You know, a detailed list of how it differs from the Series 5, but a lot of those things are still in the Series 3, and um, it seems like a really good price on that. So, something to consider if, you know, this has reignited your interest in, a, in an Apple Watch, but we'll keep folks up to date with, um, you know, our, our fitness journey through a, a watch that bugs us to do things. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, let's meet back tomorrow, shall we?